Greensboro city leaders say this building has been a problem for years and now they're doing something about it. Leaders plan to condemn the old news and record building. WFMY News 2's Giselle Thomas learned why the city says it must come down. Now debris and trash are just some of the many reasons city inspectors say that this building cannot be saved. And on top of that, safety concerns after several fires and even a homicide have the city and the owners working together. This has been, I think, a, I would say a patient process because it's been many years since the building was vacated. Uh, unfortunately, it's had a lot of instances of public safety that have been issues. The former historic news and record building turned into a safety hazard. Well, some of the things that, that were found were disturbing, quite frankly. Um, the power was still on at the time. Um, Duke Energy has uh, cut the power to the building. There were ovens on. There were fires that were being made inside the building. The damage so bad, the city says they will condemn the building March 1st. The next step is to demolish it. The city is accepting bids, which could range up to $900,000. And I think what the community will see is how wonderful this property is and what the potential it will bring to the entire triad. New beginnings, a nearby business says they're excited about. Head chef Julian Vickard at Bake Downtown says after two decades of working downtown, he's seen the building at its peak and fall. Now it's, uh, it's not the same type of clientele that is uh, utilizing the building. So, you know, it's, uh, it's been a little difficult for people that are right across from it. The city is working with property owner Berkshire Hathaway to get state funds for a future site. The building going away is the first step. Um, you, whatever comes instead of that building is going to be the most important thing for us, you know, business owner downtown. In a perfect world, we would create a phenomenal mixed use uh, development that we hope even our education universities will be a part of, maybe healthcare, shopping, of course, residential, another hotel potentially. Honestly, this is the best site in the downtown Greensboro, and it's time to showcase it. For now, GPD says they will continue to monitor this area. Live in Greensboro, Giselle Thomas, WFMY News 2.